Hi everyone! We are going to be doing the last picture on this page of six. This is from the Colouring Heaven Halloween special and these are the Agatha Pop Halloween tinies that they've got obviously as you can see in the front of the book. Now we have this last one on this page, it is quite a simple one today. Um, we had quite a lot going on in yesterday's. It was nice to do one that's a little bit easier and it is a feather. Now I'm going to start with this piece going up the middle and I always do that with a grey. I've never seen a feather where that isn't grey. That doesn't mean we have to always do it grey, but I'm going to. <laughs> so I'm going to use my cold grey 4. This is a polychromos that we're using today. We're using for all of this page actually. I'm using polychromos because I know they work well on this paper in this book, partly for that reason. Um, I just pick pencils that I'm in the mood for using really. Now what colour for our feather? Well we can go anywhere with this. Um, I really want to try and stick to the cold sort of colours that we've been using for the whole of this page. Um, I've been rather enjoying that sort of colour scheme. I think we'll go for a blue though because we haven't used tons of blue and uh, it'll be nice just to do something a little bit different. We did do a blue feather yesterday but this won't be the same as that. So I'm going to start with the dark indigo and I'm just going to do a little bit of this on each little section of feather. So on these little tiny tufts a little bit there and a little bit there and the tiniest bit on the end. These are slightly bigger so I'm going to do a little bit more and then just scumble it out. So a little bit there and then a bit of fainter blue and the same here. And as you may guess we're going to use a selection of blues for our feather. A little bit there and just work across. Now I can actually, I could speed things up a little bit by going all the way up to there like that. There's a little gap here and then all the way to the end and then just doing these bits like this. Now this is quite dark so it might actually cover up some of these black lines but we are going to do lighter blues, so they will show a little bit. And then we're down to this side. So I hope everyone's well. And uh, that you're um, enjoying getting into either autumn or Halloween or just doing some sort of colouring. I mean, it doesn't obviously doesn't have to be seasonal. I have to say I've sort of started my Halloween a little bit earlier than I normally would because I know that Johanna's new book is coming out and I know I've been banging on about it for ages and uh, so you know I'm going to be wanting to dive into that as soon as it's out. So um, what day will be this? Yeah, it'll be only a few days to go, I'm guessing. So, um, yeah, as soon as it comes out, I want to be playing with that, making, making videos and things. So um, I'm sort of thinking I don't want to get too committed into any big Halloween projects that are going to take me right to the end of the month. So I'm sort of getting in early. Right. This is the something turquoise 155. What is it? I don't know. Oh, hang on. It's not, is it the Helio turquoise? Um, I can't find it. Yes, the Helio turquoise. Sorry, I've got my little booklet there. Oh, pencils are running away. They're going to start to extend into our feather area more like this. I find it quite good doing a sort of lines like that coming in. I don't know why. I feel like 
it's called feathering this technique I think and it just seems to and I guess that's why because <laughs> they do look like this I think anyway <laughs> Yeah, so this, um, there are three pages of these in this book and my plan is to do all three and do them um, for the morning videos across the whole until the end of October. But I'm hoping that the afternoon so I will be able to get some of Johanna's new book started. But um, it just depends really on when I get the book and how... I am for time on the day when it's launch. I'm trying to think launch day. I'm just looking. My calendar is upside down, round facing the wrong way, facing the wall. So her book is due out on Tuesday the 22nd in America, and Thursday the 24th in the UK. I can't remember where I'm at with this. Um, I'm not sure what day I'm going to get it. This is always the bit of the problem because um, I've ordered it from Waterstones and they'll sometimes send it out as soon as they get it and sometimes they'll get it a few days early but um, the booksellers are supposed to send them out so that you receive them on publication day if you've paid for um, the postage you know, the next day postage or whatever but we'll just have to see what happens and when I get it so and I will obviously um, um, want to do a flip through right away for you and then start colouring pictures as soon as I can right I am going to next am I going to go to that one yeah cobalt turquoise next so um, yes I'm hoping but I can't remember what we've got going on in the book because it's such a long time since I watched Johanna's flip through so uh, I'm not sure where to start I know there are pages with smaller pictures which you know I like to do you a little series with a smaller set of pictures but some of you prefer the big pictures so I will just be choosing what I want to do and there are Halloween-y type pages which I might do it depends whether I think they're going to come out before the end of um, November uh, October I guess um, you probably might still want to go anyway so but also I know that Johanna is doing a I've forgotten these haven't I is doing a, um, a launch where I suspect she'll be doing some colouring and quite often I try to avoid the pages that she colours because I figure that you'll be doing those with her. But we'll, I don't know, we'll just have to see. It's all so very exciting. But um, yeah, and some of you, of course, might be having to wait for the book until it's Christmas. You know, you might be getting it for Christmas. So you may not um, be able to follow along with me anyway. So uh, there's always that aspect too. I need to make sure that I've got something for everyone. I am going to go for the cobalt green next. Oh, let's hold it in shot. I need to sharpen it. It's very blunt. I'm still leaving a bit of a gap. colour after this. Now if you prefer metallic feathers I do have a tutorial for um, a gold feather and I think I've got one for a silver feather. I'm trying to remember what I've got. Um, I do have one for a sort of pink feather I think. So there are other ones on my channel if you want a particular colour and you can't find it let me know I'll let you know if I've done one I definitely haven't done a red feather that's for sure now lastly we're going to use the cobalt um, the light cobalt turquoise I'm just going to sharpen it 
Now we want to close that gap slightly, but we want to leave a shine look to our feather. So what I'm going to do is go over everything, bring that line close and then just put a couple of lines through it. So I shine through everything like that. That is working. My son's saying he's tired. In this class, I do hope that uh, he's okay. I probably worry too much about them, really, but I, I guess I shouldn't, but I sort of put myself in their shoes and think, gosh. You know, if I was tired and how would I feel? I remember I used to, I don't think I had many university classes that I didn't, that I didn't enjoy really. I used to chat to people, even if the subject matter wasn't that interesting, I'd have someone to talk to. It was when I first started really socialising, I didn't socialise before uni really. When I was at school, I did have a couple of friends, but not, not really, um... Not when I was very young, you know. In primary school, I was always fine. And then when I was 11 and I changed sec to secondary school, as you do in the UK, um, I found it really hard to settle in and make friends. And uh, there we go. So I didn't really have any friends for a while. I did make a, f a couple of friends. And by the time I left, I had quite a few. Like three, not like zillions. But... Um, Trying to find the right colour. Um, I think that's the bluey green. I don't think I want the bluey green as much as I want the... Hmm. Is that it? I'm going to test a few of these pens out because I'm not really sure what colour it is. That'll do. That's perfect. Right. Pick the right one. Firstly the stars, we're going to use the silver like we have done in the other pictures that have stars. So this is number 744, this is the Stardust Jelly Roll, Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust, so they're glitter pens. Of course you can use a metallic pen, you can use just um, a silver pencil, whatever you want, whatever you've got. So yes, um, when I went to university, I just started talking to everybody and anybody. This is number 725. Okay. I have a feeling it's the same colour I used here. I don't know, I can't see it well enough to know. So um, yeah, so I used to go in and just enjoy nattering to people, even if I didn't um, enjoy the class. But usually I enjoyed the classes. But my son doesn't talk to anybody. He doesn't know anybody, doesn't know anybody's name, just goes into his class, sits there, comes home. It's a shame. I think um, it's a pity they aren't sort of made to work in groups. It's the same actually when he was at college and doing chemistry. Um, they had to work on their own, so he never talked to anyone. Whereas his brother was doing physics, and in physics they had to work in pairs. I don't really know why. I think maybe they didn't have enough equipment. I'm going to use the number 700, the one that's just a glitter glaze, on the um, this bit. Um, and his brother, so his brother had to pair up with someone, so he had no choice but to talk to people. And I some sort of wish, half wish, they had to do that so that he had to talk to people. But maybe that would be stressful. I don't know. Anyway, he'll find his way. There we go. That is the last one on this page. Let's come out and look at the whole page. Take a picture of our whoops. Just trying to uh, move the book. It made a nasty scraping noise. It's because it, I've got it tucked under my pencil tin. Right, that should be it. I should be able to fit it all in. There you are. There's the whole page. It always looks very faded at the top. It's because that's where my lamp is. My lamp isn't exactly over the middle of my... It's just the way my tripod is and my camera is. I can't put the lamp right in the middle. 
so it does make it a bit lighter at the top and also when the blinds open the light from the window um, I wish I could have a better lighting setup and I know there are ways to do it but this sort of suits me it just doesn't always give the best look but anyway there is our first page done and I'm very excited and pleased and I've had a fantastic time so thank you to Colouring Heaven for sending me this um, it's lovely and all the information is in the description if you want any information about how to sign up to Colouring Heaven, how to get this magazine, how and and for all the pencils, pens and all that sort of stuff as well. Or just drop me a drop me a comment if you've got a question. Um, yeah, so sponsored by Colouring Heaven and we're gonna be doing the next set. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope that you have a really, really lovely day and happy colouring. <laughs>